Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at yet another garage based project which is a real time speech to speech chatbot that integrates real time speech recognition, intelligent AI driven reasoning, web information access and natural sounding voice output. This project has been powered by Whisper, Llama 3.1, Kukoro and the Agno Agent Framework. All of these components we already have covered separately in detail on the channel. This tool provides instantaneous multimodal interaction and seamless conversation with minimal latency. Another good thing is that it doesn't use any API. Instead, you can simply use Olama based models quite easily. If you don't know what Olama is, Olama is one of the easiest tools out there to run large language models locally in a quantized format and I have done heaps of videos around Olama. The first step you need to do is to make sure that Olama is installed. In order to do so, simply go to olama.com, click on this download button from there. For Linux, just run this command on your local system. For Mac and Windows, just download this executable and run it locally and you should have Olama installed instantaneously. And then let's go to my terminal where I'm running this Ubuntu 22.04. Let's create a virtual environment with Conda. By the way, I have one GPU card which I will show you shortly. If you're also looking to rent a GPU and VM or CPU, you can find the link to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. I will also give you a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPU. So please do check them out. So my virtual environment is created. And this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM courtesy Master Compute. Let me now git clone the repo of this project which is Vocal Agent and that is done. Next step which we need to do is to install all the dependencies from the root of the repo. You can either use pip or you can use pip3. I think I have pip installed. And while it installs all the prerequisites, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation and that is done for tts i believe it uses kukoro so we also have to install it and then for text to speech synthesis, we can use this eSpeak NG, which is an open source speech synthesizer in many languages. Okay, so our installation is done. Next up, we need to download the Kukuro model. And you can simply grab these Kukuro models from these links, and these links are given in that repo. And I will drop the link in video's description. And it is being downloaded in the root of the repo. These are very small models, by the way, and both of them are done. So if I show you quickly. So we have these models. Now you can see that at the top of the repo. And now let's keep this here. Let's also download our Olama model. For that, let's go to another terminal. And then if I do Olama list, you can see that Olama is running, but there is no model there. So I'm just going to quickly download this Llama 3.18 billion. It is going to download the model in quantized format, and then it is going to verify the checksum and run the Olama based model on our local system. This should not take too long. And the model is now running. Okay, so it's time to run the tool now. So let me clear it and then in order to run this tool all you need to do is to run this python3 main.py from the root of the repo of course and the first time when you are going to run it it is also going to download a few files of the models so let's wait and you can see that now it is running and I, as i have there you go and it has given me the error Anyway, I will let it run. But the input is not in the correct format. The error message 
message suggests that the input should be a valid list, but it's receiving a string instead. To fix this, you can convert your string into a list. For example, Python ID D list 2103.03404v1, 2103.03404v2. This will allow the validation to proceed. Okay, so I have just pressed Control C to stop it. So it gives a lot of warnings, and then because what it is trying to do, it is once I have um, done the text speech to text, it is doing the text to speech, and you saw that it is just trying to do some agentic stuff. It is going to read some archive paper that is actually hard coded in their main.py. So all in all works but i think a uh, lot of work needs to be done in terms of interface here especially uh, around these pydentic errors okay so i have spent around three to four hours and i have fixed their code and i had to rewrite uh, multiple files in that project but now it is working so let me show you how so i'm just going to run that main.py again and i will be talking with the model let's wait for it to start hello there it seems you're referencing a famous line from the star wars franchise specifically spoken by Obi-Wan Kenobi. The phrase, hello there, has become iconic in popular culture and is often associated with the characters wise and gentle. Do you know what is the weather in Sydney, Australia? The current weather in Sydney, Australia, is a steady rain with showers continuing overnight. And the temperature is around 62 F winds are blowing at 15 to 25 MPH with a chance of rain at 9. Please ask my subscriber to subscribe to the channel if they haven't already and share the video among their network. To encourage your subscribers to share your video among their network, you can include a call to action CTA in the end card of your video. This CTA should be visually appealing and clearly ask viewers to subscribe to your channel and share the video with others. You can also consider adding a subscribe button to all your videos, which can be done by going to your YouTube account's branding settings and selecting video watermark at the bottom. And I'm just trying to press Control C. There you go. Takes a bit of a time, but it's done. So look, uh, pretty good effort. But as we saw in real time, that it has uh, quite a lot of bugs. Hopefully, they'll be able to fix it, and then I will let them fix it. But if you are from that team, reach out and happy to uh, share with you what exactly I did. So I think that they should also build a nice, clean maybe a gradio based interface on top of it that will be more suited but let me know your thoughts i will drop the link to the repo in video's description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching